Hey folks, um, I've been doing a series of videos on this Cold Steel GI Tanto, Tanto Tanto knife um, that I picked up for about 25 bucks. It's a 1055 carbon steel blade, and um, I had seen a lot of reviews, very positive reviews of this knife uh, on YouTube, and a lot of people were saying uh, it's a great bushcraft camp backpack bug out bag knife uh, for 25. You can't beat the price. And uh, I was surprised, you know, because I have a hard time believing, you know, you get that much value out of something that's only $25. And um, also, when you take a look at this knife, it doesn't look like any of the other camp slash bushcraft type knives, uh, depending upon what you want in a, in a bug out or get home bag knife. Um, I suppose it could meet the bill, but uh, so I picked one of these up. Uh, I have a camping trip coming up, and I'm going to take it on that camping trip and uh, and put it to some real world, I guess you could call real world applications. But uh, I've just been doing a series of different tests at home uh, with it, just playing around and uh, seeing what it can do and what it can't do. And uh, I sharpened it up, and I did a couple of different cut tests, and uh, it's still maintaining the edge that I put on there pretty well. Uh, one of the things that it uh, no, it's not going to cut. One of the, one of the challenges that I did have with it is, is that it did not uh, cut manila rope very well. The manila rope that I had was pretty highly abrasive, and um, it may have something to do. This is a forty degree inclusive angle that I put on there. Um, maybe that angle is just a little too wide. I couldn't get enough. I, I just couldn't cut the rope at all with it. So anyhow, I'm going to stop this and uh, start up when I get set up, and I'm going to do some cardboard cut tests. And the goal is just to cut some cardboard and then go back and see how it does against the paper. We're back. Um, one of the things that uh, I did want to comment on is this knife, the the handle seems very comfortable until you actually start using it quite a bit. So I am going to be wearing a glove. All right, let's get started. Hmm. One of the things I'm noticing is is that this is more ripping the cardboard than cutting the cardboard. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get maybe it positioned a little differently and see if that changes. Um, I would consider that uh, an adequate amount of uh, cardboard cutting. One thing I'll notice is that I started to develop hand fatigue again. Um, this knife is not exactly easy to hold on to. 
Now when you do some cutting, the blade is very far from the handle, so you don't have leverage. Uh, one of the other things is that a lot of times it would rip the cardboard versus cut the cardboard. And I think that has a little bit to do with the blade geometry. Overall though, I think it did a pretty good job. Uh, it definitely cut through the cardboard. Well, let's see how we do here. And uh, there probably is some faults in the blade, but it's still pretty sharp. There's definitely something going on right around there. It's, it's ripping it. So we are losing some of the edge. But I think that's to be expected. I also did some uh, some carve one of my other videos. I, I carved a point on the end of a, a piece of wood. Um, I would say that that's still pretty good retention, though. I actually expected it to be worse. Um, so that's a. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say that passed that test.